So my postdoctoral project grew out of my uh, PhD project. So during my PhD, I looked at um, how uh, regulators of gene expressions called microRNA find their target. And um, this got me interested in, in understanding how microRNAs uh, integrate into the more general network of, of that, that directs gene regulation. So how microRNAs interact with transcription factors, with uh, regulators of protein activity. The selection process takes place in, in two phases. So the first phase consists in, uh, in you filling out uh, a form, a structured form on, on, on the website of EMBO. And there are several sections that you need to fill out. Like, you know, what is the basic of the project? What is the impact of it? Uh, how, what are, how do you want to carry it out? What are the methods? And um, after this, you, you submit it. And then there's a first round of selection. And if you're selected, you go on to the second round where you have an interview with a NEMBO member. And um, for, in my case, it took place over Skype. Uh, with uh, an EMBO member in, in Madrid, and uh, the, the interview was was um, was was very natural. So um, the, the member took time to to understand where my interests were and, and to see you know what the potential could be. Um, so all in all, I, I would qualify it as a enjoyable process. I would say I benefited from the EMBO fellowship in in several ways. So one is uh, a salary for for two years. Another one is um, that it facilitated my facilitated my participation to the EMBO meeting in, in Amsterdam this year. And another one is um, that the application process in itself helped me, um, hel helped me define projects, helped me understand what it means to design a scientific project. So, well, my advice to, to PhD students looking to apply is uh, to, to think about the project early, because that's something that I, I underestimated and it's um, uh, if, if it's your first time writing up a project, you have to expect that there's going to be some dead ends that you're going to have to find your way around some scientific and methodological maze. And so this takes time, so I would advise to start as early as possible.